Instagram is working. Facebook is working. Oh, thank God for that. Yay, good afternoon and welcome. Good afternoon and welcome to your Sunday service. Ooh, welcome to Sunday service, Flower yeah. Pot. Yeah. Are you all right, Mum? I am fine, thank you. Good. I hope you are all, the rest of the world, I hope all the rest of the world is okay today. Yeah, good morning. Yeah. Good Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good evening. And good evening, wherever you are. Wherever you may be watching us from. Yeah. So we come to you with uh, this week's edition of a Sunday service. Yeah. It's been a bit of a shit week, hasn't it? It has. Um, Yeah, I had to um, call for the ambulance on, was it Wednesday? Yeah. Wednesday. Yeah, it was Wednesday, yeah. Wednesday, so we had to get checked out, didn't we? Yeah. So we've had a um, few medical issues in the land of Antonelli this week, but yeah. we're not doing so bad, are we? No, she's doing okay now. We've got the all clear, didn't we? Yeah, she's doing okay now. She's doing fine. okay, yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, let me know where you're watching me from. Give me a like, give me a love, give me a share. I'm glad you're here, Mum. I am too. We just went and did nice. a quick live did we, on Instagram um, yeah. just to see if it had worked. Um, but yeah, it's a week off mum's 68th birthday. So a week today, it's mum's birthday. She'll be 68. So yeah. massive pre-happy birthday to mum. Yeah. So we'll have to see what happens next week. But um, hopefully I can celebrate mum's yeah. birthday as best we can. Just us two. Well, yeah. me, you and your husband. So yeah. us three. There were three of us. Be three of us. I just feel sad that I can't have me, uh, my son and his wife, my daughter-in-law and my grandchildren. Yeah, under the circumstances. Under the but we'll face ta- we can have them at first time, can't yeah. we? Obviously, I know Olivia can't because she's in London. And Olivia's right? in London. Isn't that yeah, there in London? London? It's a beautiful well, sunshine today in London. Yeah. But that's how it is. That's how it is. That's how it is. Yeah. Yes. So, without further ado, shall we start Sunday service? Yeah. Because, um, yeah, let's do it. It's hard at the moment. I'm finding it really hard to be motivated. Um, I'm just finding everything really hard at the moment. Yeah, but you have to do your best to get motivated. Yeah. And try not to think about too much. Yeah. Because otherwise you can go into a depression. You can get anxiety. And I do get anxiety. That. I have anxiety. And you've got to think, today is another day. Yeah. And we'll get through today as well. Yeah. Um, start thinking about doing other stuff from what have you so you're not thinking about being lonely which I do really really feel sorry for people that are on their own and um, I always say make sure your neighbours the neighbours and that they check on them make sure they're okay especially the elderly ones that they need that the vulnerable one they need help you look after Jack don't you Liz downstairs well, I try yeah. my best yeah. try, how old is Jack 97 he was 97 and he's had Covid haven't he oh yes he has and he's been. managed to like come through other side hasn't he yes. 97 97 bless him tough as old boots is Jack isn't yeah. he he yeah. should be looking after you <laughs> right dear Auntie Nelly hi Auntie Nelly hello I am a gay man oh. my husband and I have been married for seven years over the last few months, I've been having confusing thoughts about women. Ooh. Wow. I have a desire to be with a woman for some reason. I would never cheat on my husband, but I do fantasise about inviting a woman into our relationship for a night of lovemaking. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> ah. uh, right, okay, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I don't want to destroy the life that we have built together all for a sexual fantasy. What should I do? Well, don't do it. Do you think it would destroy the relationship? Well, it probably would do. If his partner doesn't think the same way, it might do. The best thing to do is to talk it over together, the pair of them first, first yeah. and see what's, why are you having these thoughts? What's missing? But they've been married for seven married years. Do you seven believe years. in the seven year itch? Well, it could be, I don't know. But uh, before you do anything like that, I definitely think twice. But then again. Yeah, I won't just get an escort and invite her in one night and say, oh, listen, I'm inviting Susan. No, but then again, you have to talk it over. Yeah. And, um, and see why you're having these thoughts. But things do happen in life, people do change. Uh, there could be some missing. I don't know, sweetheart. But you've got to do whatever rocks your boat. 
whatever you think is best for you, yeah. you, you do it. But if you're up in your relationship, and uh, like you said, seven years, and you're just having these thoughts, mm -hmm. please do talk talk together mm -hmm. because you have to be true to each other. Uh, like you said, you don't want to cheat on him, so don't do that. Be very, very careful in what you do and uh, think about it mm -hmm. and think about what you're going to say and everything. Don't jump in with both feet and uh, and take it from there. Yeah. That's my advice to yeah. you. Yeah. Can I just say that um, there's some people quite confused on Instagram. Mum is in my bubble. Yeah. So we can sit next to each other. Yeah. There is no social distancing rules being broken here. There is no COVID rules being broken. No. Me and Mum are allowed to sit on each other's heads should yeah. we want to. Because yeah. we're in each other's bubble. It's yeah. just us three, me, you and yeah. Stephen and Ted. Yeah. And she never so, sees Stephen. I never see Stephen, no. Very I only good. see you twice a week. Yeah. Um, but but well, yeah, three times this week, only because you come no, when... this is twice this week. But you come when ambulance are coming. Oh, yeah, yeah, I came when Third, the ambulance yeah. were coming. And then yeah, I so we've had to have an ambulance out this week to your auntie Nelly, so we... I've been a bit quiet because I've yeah. not been tickety-boo. No, she's not been herself, but she's on the mend now. She's okay now. She's had her mum looking after her. And I've been a, a talk to her, so she's fine. Yeah. Dear auntie Nelly, I need your advice. I am desperately in love with a man. I know he's no good for me. We have been separated for six months now. We ended it and I tried to stay friends, even though all my family hate him. Watch Instagram as well, Mum. You're looking at Facebook, but oh. Instagram's live as well, look. Oh, Give them right. a bit of love. Oh. Um, right, so all family hate him. And I know that they'd be really upset if I rekindled things with him. Oh. So I won't. But I cannot shake my feelings. He made me feel the most beautiful ever the first time in my life. I felt amazing, but he is an absolute twat. Ooh. My apologies, Mum. Oh. You've heard worse, haven't you? Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. my God. Yeah. There's only me at family that swears, isn't there? Yeah. No one else swears, just me. Yeah. Anyway, I tried talking to other guys on dating apps, but I just can't stop thinking about him. And I know that I can't go back to him. What do I do? Will I just have to live my life alone? No. She doesn't actually say why he's an actual twat and why nobody <laughs> likes him. So she's still protecting him a bit, I think. Well, for her to understand that he's no good for her. Yeah. And he's a bad person. Yeah. I'm not going to use that word that she used. No. Uh, you're they, a lady. They, 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 well, try You are a lady. Think. That um, he's a bad person. Mm -hmm. uh, if you've understood that, but sometimes... Uh, you let your heart, you know, because you love him, you're in love with him. But you've, in this situation, you've got to use your brain. Yeah. And you've got to, uh, I know it's, it's upsetting and it hurts. <coughs> and like you said, it made you feel absolutely beautiful and all this and that. But did he actually really mean it? He might have been love bombing him. Yeah. So my advice to you, sweetheart, is try your best. To keep away from him, don't even go on these dating, uh, line dating and what have you for the time being. Excellent advice. Just have some time for yourself. Self-love. And I'm pretty sure that your family, it's not because they hate him, hate him, they know what a person he is, what sort of a person he is. Not good enough, is it? Not good enough. Not good enough, your sweetheart. So what they're trying to do is look after you. Protect you. Protect you mm -hmm. from him. So, have some time for yourselves. Have some uh, girly nights together if you can. I know we can't do much with this lockdown, but you can FaceTime your friends, talk to your friends, and I'm sure they'll uh, help you to get through this. But believe you me, if you've understood that it's no good for you, you know in your heart that it's no, in your brain, you know that it's no good for you, but in your heart, you still love him. But in time, you will <coughs> feel better and you will find somebody who will treat you like a princess, beautiful and everything, just like you deserve. Mm. But in time... There's a little girl called Jess watching who said, hello, Miss Pickup. Oh, hello, darling. Are you okay? Yeah. Hi. There you Good. go. Yeah. Right, so yeah, so use lockdown to um, 
I don't know, look into yourself, find a bit of self-love, a bit of self-care, look after you, decide yeah. what you want yeah. and um, get get over the relationship. You've got to go through a loss, a grieving period, healing, mm -hmm. yeah. you know, it's the perfect time now, isn't it? Yeah. Dear Auntie Nelly, I am 33 and my husband is 47. Ooh. We have five children from the age of two up to 14. And my sex drive has got, no, my husband's sex drive has gone mad. He wants it all the time and I don't. <laughs> I don't know what's happened to him. <laughs> We've been together 12 years and married for seven. I feel disgusting after having kids, but he doesn't think so and tells me I'm beautiful. But I don't feel it and only want sex in the dark after being left with a baby pouch. Oh. Oh, how sad is that, love? Don't feel like that. Your husband loves you for he what does. you are. Baby pouch, you know, yeah, baby pouch. Baby, yeah, exactly. So, and maybe, I don't know, love, maybe with this lockdown, maybe if he hasn't got much to do, he's just thinking about his beautiful wife. <laughs> <laughs> Having sex, he's, uh, forgot, he's forgot he's got a TV license, yeah. So it's, <laughs> it's one of them, but then again, have a talk, talk with him, and you say, you know, say that you're not neglecting him, yeah. It's not because you don't want to, it's just like it's getting a little bit too much for you, yeah. And you've got to both be in the right mood, in the right, you know, and not just when he wants, and I think. The way she talks to herself doesn't sound right good because she's saying, I feel disgusting. Well, she's going to oh, feel disgusting no. if she looks at herself thinking she's disgusting. You must never think that. Your belly has housed all five of your children. Yeah, of course. You know, you, yeah. you bore his children. There's nothing more beautiful Once than... Once you have a child, your body changes. Yeah, it does. And, uh, and I think that... Uh, and your husband said that you are beautiful, which I'm pretty sure that you are. Yeah. Uh, beautiful and that. Then you should uh, ad admire that. Nobody feels very beautiful at the minute, do they? No. I mean, my hair appointment, I would have had, I'd missed having my colour done twice. My nails are like, I have that Beab shite put on, they're hanging off. Yeah. Um, nobody feels themselves no. because we're not, you know, no, people's no. eyelashes are no longer there, so they look like potatoes. Yeah. I should have my um, cup. You should have had it. Yeah, I so nobody's know. feeling yeah. beautiful. So what are we no. doing with our day? Are we sticking... In the same pyjamas, are we not even brushing our hair? No, no, are we no, not no, even no, washing no, our no, faces? No, you do can't you know, do that. put a little bit more of routine back in yeah, to make that. you feel better. Not yeah. for him, not for anybody else, but for you. Do yeah. something that makes you feel good. Yeah. And you'll start feeling good. You'll start oh, yeah. looking good to yourself. And yeah. it's the way you speak to yourself, isn't it? Yeah, until you, you start feeling, until you look in that mirror and you say, right, this is it. This yeah. is what I'm going to do. This is me. See, this is me. And this this is what I'm gonna do. Yeah. Right? And you're gonna start saying, right, today I'm gonna to put my makeup on. Yeah. Today I'm gonna do Even though you've got nowhere to go. No, on. it doesn't matter. No. It doesn't matter. Do it for you. Yeah. Do Absolutely. it. Absolutely. It does, do it makes you feel better, doesn't it? Yeah, of course it does. Right. Yeah. Okay. Dear Auntie Nelly, no one you ready? No one has access to my laptop, only me and my partner. I went into the search history looking for a site I needed and there were all multiple searches for gay porn. Oh. It can only be him. I am not crude and have watched porn myself and we have watched it together. But I assumed he was heterosexual. We've been together for five years and thought we was happy and settled. Now I'm questioning everything. How do I approach the subject? I guess I haven't yet, as I'm scared he might say he's gay, bisexual, or leave me. Oh. oh. So five years she's been with her partner. There's only her and him that have laptop. When she's gone to search summit, when well, you can. She's found all She's found him searching for gay porn. Oh. So well, what would you do there? Well, I don't know. Not necessarily. Well, you have to question him. Yeah, of course you do. I would. But not necessarily means that he's gay. No. He might he might want to watch them things. They might excite him. Yeah, but he might not actually might want, want a cock want, in his ass. Well, or I'm in gonna, his mouth. Well, I want to put it like that. Or in his hand. But anyhow, whatever. But you definitely need to question him and ask him why he's doing this. Yeah. Uh, what's what's gone wrong in your uh, relationship? 
And, um, it might not be anything wrong. That be, just might be what he likes. Yes, it might be just what he likes. And um, I don't like kidney beans. Yeah, but you do. Yeah, doesn't um, make it wrong. No. And with that, it doesn't mean to say that he's going to leave you. No, it doesn't mean to say that uh, you know you just have to talk to him and see why it's happening. You know, but uh, have I got it right? You've already watched a, a porno with him, but not a gay one. But not a gay one. No, uh, maybe he's watching <coughs> it on his own, and maybe. He's waiting for the opportunity to tell you whether you want to watch it together with him. Well, ladies do like watching yeah, gay, but, uh, but lesbian yeah, boy. But, but, but it doesn't mean to say no. that they've ever had a lesbian well, experience. Him, yeah. or But you beat him to it because you you found it. Yeah. Before you Just have it. a chat with him. Yeah, have a chat with him and see what the outcome is. But Just, I don't think he'd believe you. I'd do it in a, in a like, oh, so... Yeah. Watching gay porn, have you? Yeah, what else it. have you got to tell me? I'd do it in that kind yeah, of way rather it. than, say you know, it. shaming him or yeah. interrogating him or making no. him feel like so he's, why he's got to be defensive. Yeah. So, how come you're, you're, you're <coughs> talking about this? Like, you know, so you could have asked and could have watched it together and put it, you know, because you've watched others together. I don't know. I think masturbation okay. sometimes is okay. something that you can enjoy at home. But see what he has to yeah. say first. Yeah. Before you jump into anything. Yeah, don't religion. be thinking all of a sudden that he's no. going to leave you for next door neighbour called or Bernard. That, or that he's gay. Yeah. Just um, see what happens. Just a fetish. It could be just a little yeah. fetish. You never know. People, yeah. people do that things. But when you, you know, I always say it's your computer, so you've not really brought the boundaries here. But whenever we look for something, be very careful. Because when we find it. Yeah. We've got to deal with it, haven't we? Exactly. So, and there's only you can do that. Now. Yeah. And he might have even no, done it, luck. hoping that you find it so you can discuss it. No, good luck. Because I live alone and there's only me that's got access to any of my three phones. I'm not a drug dealer, but I do have three phones and my laptop and my computer and I still clear my search history. Yeah. I do. And he's not cleared it. No. So, so he might have done it, have yeah. Yeah, so yeah. he had kept it as a secret. Exactly. So I, I'd have a word with him. Have a word. In a nice way. In a nice way. Yeah. Okay, well, best of luck. Yeah. Dear Auntie Nelly, I'm sat at kitchen table crying. Oh. I'm sat at kitchen table, were you? Yeah. I would cry. Yeah, I don't But cry. anyway, I won't do, no, because I'm busy working. No, you're going to slap. <clears throat> Thanks, Mum. That's really <laughs> sympathetic. Yeah, if I start crying, you'll slap me. Yeah, slap me. Pull you're yourself. like four foot two, weren't you? Don't you don't slap. Oh, I can still slap you. No, I can still slap you, put you over my knee. Yeah, pull right. yourself together. I said, pull yourself together. Yeah, right. Okay, so she's sat at the kitchen table crying because oh. I don't know what to do. I don't think my marriage has been a sham. My mm. husband of 10 years, <coughs> excuse me, has walked out and left me and our seven-year-old daughter. I've tried to hold it together in the daytime, but at night I fall apart. Oh, the worst thing is he's left me for a so-called friend. She's also left her husband and they're now living happily together. My daughter keeps asking where daddy is and when he will be home and I just don't know what to say. So I just keep saying soon. He just ducked and left and said he didn't love me anymore. And that was that. I've tried phoning and texting, but there's no reply. This is just all so overwhelming. And I don't feel like I can tell my family because secretly I'm hoping he'll change his mind and come home. What do I do? Oh, well, first of all, love, I feel so sorry for you. I mean, you know, <clears throat> I know people say everybody deserves a second chance, but for him, and as for your friend, she's no friend. She's no fucking friend, she's, is she? She's, she's no friend. So what I would do, love, don't cry. Don't cry. You show them that you are, you are better than them. Better, far better. And you tell your daughter, tell your daughter, don't lie to her. No, don't lie to family. To family. She needs support exactly. more than anything. And if you, you don't know, they can't help, yeah, can they? You need support. Don't lie to anybody. Yeah. You've done nothing wrong. No. Nope. They're the ones. They're in the wrong. He's just said a door off you and he's left. But yeah, things happen. Things happen. You know, people fall out of love. Um, and he's just gone. So this is what you have to get into your head. Uh, you you probably still love him. Of course you love him. <coughs> yeah. uh, you're angry, but you yeah. still love him. But be clear and honest with your family and with your little girl. Yeah. Don't give that little girl. He might even come back, and you might even forgive him. 
which fair enough. But don't give that little girl hopes but soon, tomorrow or day after. So what daddy, should she say to her then? Up. What should she say? Just tell, just tell her that daddy... Doesn't live here anymore. Daddy doesn't live here. At this moment in time, daddy doesn't live here anymore. Uh, because mummy and daddy have had her an issue. Daddy's and, decided that he wasn't daddy. happy here for the time being. Yeah, but, but... He's doing wrong about not texting. Absolutely, you, know, you think he yeah. wants to see his child. Exactly. Also. So you need, if you can, you need to come to some sort of arrangement that even so, he's with your with your friend or whatever, but that he doesn't neglect his little girl. And exactly. You can set to her. You can set to her. Daddy don't live with us anymore. Yeah. But you will <clears> still <throat> be able to see your daddy. You she, yeah, but then I'm worried about her saying that because well, if he doesn't. And then you well. So I would be saying well, I'd be different here. I'd be saying, listen, Daddy doesn't live here anymore. He's decided that he wasn't very happy with me, Mummy, and that's okay. So Daddy's gone. Daddy's gonna get a different house to live in, and when Daddy's settled, you can. Uh, we'll be able yeah. to see if you know you can go and stay with Daddy it. when it's yeah. safe. When it's safe, yeah. And I wouldn't say Daddy wants to see you because she don't fucking well, know. No, because she doesn't know. But first of but all, but I would certainly be getting in touch with that bellend of a bastard and saying, "Listen, yeah. come give a fuck where you've gone, which friend you're shagging, go and fucking lie on the bed of nails and enjoy it. What are you doing about your daughter? Do you want to see your daughter or not? Because yeah. she keeps asking for you. Yeah. So stop thinking about your dick yeah. and think what you're right. What about our little girl, yeah. your daughter? Do you yeah. want to see her or not? What we're telling her. Don't let that End of. don't let that between your legs ruin your brain. Exactly. Yeah, so that's so, what I'd be yeah, saying. I'd be yeah. quite firm. And then yeah, you do as a mum go to bed at night and cry your eyes out. You do. It's what you do. You don't cry in front of your kids in the no. day. You keep it together and you collapse into a pile of shit at night. Yeah. It's what you do, but you know, I well, think you must tell your family. You must tell your family to get the love and support yeah. around you because you need yeah. it now more than ever. And if they don't know, they don't know. Yeah. And the way things are as well, people wouldn't notice whether he's coming in and out of the house, would they? Because it's fucking lockdown, people exactly. don't know. Yeah, yeah. So tell your family. Say that to your little girl, yeah, that's you all you can do. And then fucking girl. get him a message to him somehow and just say, listen. That what you want to do, fucking crack on flower, but what yeah. about our daughter and who then, keeps asking where daddy yeah. is? End of. Yeah, and then if things don't get right, then he, he doesn't deserve you. If things don't get right, how can things yeah. ever get fucking right? Yeah. He's left her for a mate, there's yeah. no trust, no trust, no relationship. Yeah. Well, You've made your bed, mm. fucking lie on it. Yeah, and she's no conscience, that's your friend. She gives no fucking friend, is she? No, I mean, no. there's a thing like girlfriend zone, um, Boyfriend zone, girlfriend yeah. code. Yeah. You know, you could really fancy your mate's husband. Like, oh, he's well fit your husband and that, but you don't think of him sexually because no. it's your mate's husband. You don't want to You just don't, but it just doesn't, it just doesn't compute. No. So, she's no. no fucking friend. No, tell your family, love. Tell your family sooner rather than later. Yeah, best of luck. Right. <coughs> Dear Auntie Nelly, I've started having an affair with a work colleague. Oh. For me, it was just for sex, but it's clear now that for him, he wants more. Yeah. As he's now threatening me. Threatening? Yeah. And he's saying, if you don't tell your husband, I will leave him. I actually tried to end the affair at Christmas, but his mum died. Like, so I didn't feel it went right time. Since then, I've not seen him and I keep making up excuses. I've told him that we couldn't see each other now due to restrictions. And that's when the threats really started. Oh, he said, if I stay with my husband, he's going to tell him anyway, so we'll split up. I just don't know what to do anymore. But it's all such a mess. And please don't judge me. You don't know me. Oh. Well, I'm not going to oh. not gonna judge you, love. But you know what they say. If you play with the fire, you're bound to get burned. There you go. And for you to go and have an affair with somebody else, then you mustn't have been happy in your marriage anyhow, because yeah. otherwise you wouldn't have done that. And to say that it was just for sex is yeah. like a bit of a cop-out, really. There's so, a lot more going on, isn't there? So the thing is now, uh, whatever's happened has happened. And uh, obviously... You I think her husband you you deserves made, to yeah, know yeah, rather than yeah, somebody you telling him. Made, you should have made it clear with this, uh, whoever he is, here, this colleague you haven't been having an affair with, yeah. that it was just sex and nothing else. Yeah. And obviously it doesn't work out that way because he's probably falling for you. Yeah. And he wants more. 
so <laughs> the best way to, to deal with it, love, it's rather you, you come clear with your husband, you tell him what's happened, and then you're being honest. Yeah. And then it might even, it, yeah, it might ruin your marriage. It might. But he you deserves husband. to know from oh, his wife. Exactly. But. Uh, and tell him, I mean, you yeah. say you're in the right mess. Just before, tell your husband you've been yeah. cheating, ain't you? Yeah, before, you're, before somebody else tells him. Yeah. I think you should, and then, you should tell him. But what then again, kind of fucking fella is this fella to be threatening you, saying if you don't tell him I will, leave him and come and live with me. Yeah. And if you don't, then you're going to split yeah. up anyway. He's a bellend. You're a bellend. Well, yeah. you've, so, you know, you've fucking pissed all over your chips and your husband deserves to know the truth from you yeah. and then he deserves to be with somebody who won't fucking cheat on him. Yeah. yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. It's not, it's not I'm, nice. You know, don't it's judge me, nice. you don't know me. Because you know what? I don't know you, yeah, yeah, you're right. I don't know you, but you're a cheating cunt. Yeah, there's a lot I of know things, that. There's a lot of things out there that happen and we're having the same, you know, affairs and what have you. Uh, and their husbands and their wives are always last to know. Yeah. And it's not nice. No. Uh, I don't know you and I don't know your husband. He, you know, he could be uh, a good man, a provider. And everything. But we don't know, do we? We don't know. We don't know why she we went looking know. in the first place. So, for you to go working in the first place, obviously there must have been something. Just not quite. Not quite. Yeah, so I'm not judging you. I don't judge anybody. Yeah. At the end of the day, people do what they want and what makes them feel better. Yeah. So, in this scenario, the thing to make you feel better, sweetheart, is to tell <clears> you from what's happened. You've gone from thinking the grass is greener yeah. and she's gone and laid on a piece of fucking astro turf. Yeah. You make your bed, you lie on it. Yeah. Dear Auntie Nelly, I am 38 and live alone. <clears throat> I'm 46 and live alone. Yeah. You're 68 on Sunday, aren't you? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <clears throat> I'm finding things really hard because of all the lockdowns. Oh, dear God, you've come to the right place. I feel so lonely. I'm working oh. from home on my own. Don't see anyone apart from my parents on FaceTime. It's just not the same. I used to have a great social life, go out loads, went on loads of dates and now nothing. I even used to go to the gym four times a week. Well, she's a sociopath, obviously. We're all, we're all in the same boat. I cannot be in my, a support bubble with mum and dad because my dad has underlying health conditions and I don't want to put them at risk. I haven't seen them in nearly a year. How can I feel better about my current situation? We spoke a little bit about this on yeah, Instagram earlier, yeah, didn't yeah, we? Yeah, yeah, we did, yeah. Um, it's sad. It's very sad, love. It's tough. Uh, very tough. hard. Things yeah, are really yeah. tough. All, all as I can say to you, it's just to... Um, it's tough. Keep, uh, yeah, it's tough. And you just keep ringing you. If you've got friends, to ring your friends up, do FaceTime. And like you said, you were going to the gym. So get out for a bit of fresh yeah, air. If you can. Go for a walk and the break away. You know when you have your uh, your break from your work. Yeah, come away from the kitchen come away, table. Just do some exercise. Good time, idea. You know, and uh, just keep your chin up. Yeah. And just um, keep thinking that fingers crossed, fingers crossed that we'll all be able to go back to a bit of normality in May, whenever. And uh, and life uh, will be okay, love. But do you not get when you, you feel? Not, I know it sounds horrible, this because your feelings are as valid yeah, yeah. as everybody else's. But yeah. you're not on your own. No, We're, you're not. Be you're open. Not. Be open yeah. and honest and say I'm fucking struggling because yeah. we all are. We all are. When yeah. you're struggling, love, pick the phone up. Yeah. And speak to anybody. Yeah. It doesn't matter who it is. Yeah. You know, and if they say, oh, I haven't got time, say no. Please make time to speak to me. Yeah, I really speak to speak to me. somebody, need, please. Yeah. Speech. And there's, there's, there is services out of there as well for people if they you know, feel yeah. quite isolated, yeah. alone, struggling yeah. with mental health or anxiety, yeah. you know, yeah. use those services. And if you're not good on the phone, there's text ones where yeah. you can text and they'll text you back. Yeah. Don't be on your own. We're all struggling. struggling. We're all fighting different storms, yeah. but we're all in the same fucking we're all, boat. We're all in the same boat. But we are. It's hard. It's hard. Don't get lonely. Just pick the phone up and speak to anybody. Yeah. Um, and I'm pretty sure when all this is all over, you'll be able to go back to See your mum and dad. Your mum and dad, yeah. you'll be able to go back yeah. dating again. Um, and every, everything, you know, back to a bit of normality. Whatever what our new wish. normal's going to be, it's yeah. going to be a lot fucking better than what we've got now, well, isn't it? Fingers crossed, yeah. And well, it can't be any worse, can yeah. it? And with this vaccinate now, we, we're, everybody's getting the vaccine, <clears> so... Yeah. 
you know, we, we, we cannot think negative. We no, want to think be positive. positive. And positive. you do, no matter how down you get, yeah. there is a positive in every of day. Course. There, there every is. Day. Every, every day, day there every is day. a positive. Every day there is you a might, positive. You might struggle to find it, might take you a bit longer, but yeah. there is a positive in every single yeah. day. I promise you there is. Yeah. Um, yeah. They do that and just, you know, go yeah. for like a walk and they just, you know, get. Bit it. of fresh air sometimes. Yeah. And just. You might see somebody yeah. on the other side of the yeah. street that you might not know, yeah. but the fact that you've seen another human, I think, really exactly helps. Exactly, like me yesterday, I didn't go out at all from no, the house. it's horrible, isn't I, it? Yeah, and coming out this morning for a little walk up to my daughter, I thought, oh, this is lovely. This is, is it nice. nice, isn't it? Of course, yeah. yeah. Yeah, wrap up. Yeah. Wrap up, cold, whatever, and just go out for your little walk and do your exercise at home. Just pretend that you are in the gym, yeah. but you're not, but just... Do what makes you feel good as well. Yeah. Play your music loud. Do a dance in front room. Yeah, you know, have a glass of wine. I yeah. don't know. Whatever it is that yeah. does it for you. Yeah. Yeah. Do it. Yeah. Just do it. Yeah. You know. Yeah, it's like me and my husband New Year's Eve. Do we just me and him? And we usually go out New Year's Eve. Yeah. Well, obviously, but we yeah. Didn't. So what do we do? We put our favourite song on. And we, yeah. And we had a dance. A little dance. A little dance. Right. Don't want to think know. about that, Mum. It's disgusting. Stop it now. <laughs> Well, dancing in front room with your husband. Oh, yeah. Yes, vile. Right, so... <laughs> and it's funny when kids don't think like the parents have ever been romantic or... Do you know what I mean? And it's funny how it disgusts your kids. Yeah, no, how do you think you arrived? You know, how do you think... By... How did I arrive? By a stalk. Yeah. By a stalk. Special yeah. delivery. Yeah, special delivery. Yeah, they were a special delivery. Listen, Mum, even if you ever had <laughs> had heckle intercourse, you've had it twice when you were asleep because you've got me and my brother yeah. and that's it. And that's it. Yeah. I mean it. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Promise? No. <gasps> <laughs> Joanne! Oh! <clears throat> Might get you on a night time with Ellie here at this rate, no, right? No, I don't think so. Dear Auntie Nelly, I know that if I can take HRT, maybe I wouldn't even be writing. Taking HRT, I don't want to because it will pump my body with awful hormones. I've never have and never will. My husband is 25 years younger and it's never been an issue until now. And that I'm going through menopause. I have absolutely no libido, but my husband doesn't quite understand this. And he forgets all we talked about before we married. Each day is all over me. <laughs> I'm just not interested. I tried dressing up to feel sexy, but nothing works. I just don't know how to get my sexy back. Any advice during this horrific time? Well, there's other HRT stuff that's not like HRT. Maybe wow. she put doctors and get well, like... Well, I was just going to say, you need to... Take, holistic stuff. Well, I don't know. You need to speak to your GP. Yeah. And, uh, and and to be honest, you won't be the first woman, you won't be the last woman going through menopause. Um, but not feeling ready. You don't have to go yeah. through menopause not to feel yeah. sexy. Yeah. You know, so... You, you just have to make your husband understand. Yeah, just go uh, back to that. I'm, I'm, I'm presuming that the conversation you had before you got married were, I'm 25 years older than you, are you going to be able to yeah. manage me in my old age or menopause yeah. or whatever? I'm, I'm wondering well, if that was a conversation. But obviously, you must love you. I'd go to GP, yeah, I definitely yeah, would. But it doesn't mean to say that you have to take HRT. No. It, there's plenty of things out there that you can do. Well, the, um, You know, there is this load of like alternative therapies. Yeah, do a research. And just sometimes, what? even putting on some sexy underwear doesn't mean to say we're going to get our sexy back. Yeah. I think it's about accepting you now it's, as... A yeah. menopausal woman, firstly. Yeah. And I know he's a lot younger than you, like you said, but sometimes sex is not all the... Oh, uh, God, no. A kiss and a cuddle. I mean, when he's, like, you know, all over you. Yeah, off. when he's all over you. Is he all over you trying to, like, stab you with his penis? Or is he just trying to give you a hug, a kiss, a cuddle, hold your hand? Yeah. And are you frightened of actually hugging him back and kissing him back, thinking, oh, God, he's going to want sex? So a bit of communication yeah. as well, because sometimes... Yeah. When men approach us, they yeah. don't always want to penetrate us. They don't always want sex. No. No. I mean, no. I don't really want a man that doesn't, but do you know what I mean? It's like, yeah. the, there's no communication and you're probably quite hostile towards him. Yeah. So, accept the fact that you're going through menopause, get a GP's appointment booked in. She's trying to avoid the situation yeah. in case if he does. 
and she can't manage, yeah. she can't, yeah. you know, so you need to wear There's it. a lot that goes on with yeah, menopause, isn't the you vaginal to, you dryness, you need to do, you need bloatedness. To do, you need to do some research and definitely speak to your GP and yeah. then whatever your GP says, you explain it to your husband <clears> and make him understand. Yeah. That. Yeah, maybe even get your husband to come GP with you. Yeah, well, well, yeah, if it's her husband, you should do. Yeah, yeah, as a couple. And yeah. you can do lots of things to be intimate without actually having penetration. I mean, he could give you a nice massage one night. You could give him a nice massage, yeah. you know. Yeah. You can do lots of things without actually yeah. shagging, can't you? Well, yeah, yeah. <laughs> if you want to use to hold them, yeah. But you've only done it twice, haven't you? Yeah, that's once right. to me and once to my brother. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. <coughs> you do know I'll cry myself to sleep tonight knowing that you might have done it three times and you were awake. Yeah, well. Dear Auntie Nelly, I have been friends with my best friend, <laughs> right, for just over 16 years and out of nowhere she decides to tell me that she's in love with a married man that's not her husband. <gasps> oh, she's been having an affair. <laughs> I was shocked as I had absolutely no idea that I was, she wasn't happy and that we are good friends with her husband. Her lover has small children, so he can't leave his wife, and she's really upset about it. And now when we talk, it's all we talk about. She's just so sad that they can't be together. I just don't know what to feel. I just do not agree with any of it. I don't want to be the one that tells her husband, even though he's our best friend, but I feel he deserves so much better. Yeah. Do I just stop speaking to her, or do I give her an ultimatum? I just don't know what to do. Don't oh. Don't, because you've been friends for so long, such a long time, don't start speaking to her. You've got to uh, set the rough with the smooth yeah, on friendship. You've got to because it's uh, a relationship, yeah. Isn't it? Talk to her and um, find out why this has happened yeah. and why, if she was such a good good friend, mm. if she thought that you were such a good friend of hers, why has she never been able to tell you what she would do? Why doing? she dropped it on you last And why she shit. dropped it, yeah. And why would she want to break somebody else's marriage up as well? And why would she um, want to leave her husband with somebody who's leaving his wife? They've yeah. both cheated for the chance that he might cheat on you. Yeah. Or you so, might cheat on him because um, you're both cheaters. You're both cheating, yeah. So, first of all, I've talked to your friend. I sit her down. I think you've left your phone on, Mum. No, it's all right. You carry on. They'll have to ring right. back. Right. So, that's the way I look at it. That's the way I look at it as yeah, well. I, look at it. Yeah, I don't. I wouldn't give your friend an ultimatum, but I would say to your friend, listen, Brenda. Yeah. That's pretend she's called Brenda. Yeah. I cannot believe that you've done that. I, I just can't believe that you've dropped this on me. Wow. What on earth was happening in your relationship that you felt that you'd fall into the arms of another man? Yeah. Number two, what are you going to do about it? Exactly. Number three. I don't feel comfortable with this. I can't stand cheating. Well, no, because she, she, she feels like digging in the middle. Because and I want, knows, yeah, and I want to be your friend and your best friend, but I can't keep and talking then, about this. And then not only that, your best friend's husband, he'll probably fall out with you because he'll say... Because you knew. You knew. You didn't tell me. You, you knew, and you're supposed to be a friend, and you never told me. She's got to make... You can't give her an ultimatum. But you've got to tell her that yeah. she has to sort her shit out. Oh, yeah, she's got to sort her life out. Absolutely. Yeah. This yeah. can't continue. No. What's she going to do? Keep shagging this married man and be in love with him forever, keeping her poor husband to one side, like in our cows no. on WhatsApp. No, it's not. Good. Until his family grow up. But actually, it's a perfect excuse because he's having his cake and eat it. Can't leave my wife and kids. They're only little. But I'll shag you on a Thursday. Fuck off, flower. Well, that's she needs good, to find her own yeah. self-respect. Yeah, that's, that's a good excuse for him as well. He's, Absolutely. He, yeah, he's using his children, he's yeah. using his family. Yeah. yeah. No yeah. good's going to come out yeah. of this, whichever yeah. way you go. Yeah. No good's have... going to come out of it. She if could end the affair. Yeah. She if could. If you don't sort yourself out and you're going to hang it on a plate for him every yeah. time he says, yeah. then you're a fool. So, <clears> if I was you, I'd come clean, I'd stick with your husband. Better the devil that you know than the devil you don't know. Do you think she should tell her husband? Yeah. Because if she I've been having an affair, somebody if else she will. Doesn't, somebody else will. Absolutely. Yeah. Moving on, the I last care, one. Everything always comes out. Everything always comes out in the wash. Yeah. You always say that, don't yeah, you? It doesn't matter whether it's today, tomorrow, next yeah. year, it'll come out. It'll come out, it doesn't matter what. Oh. Yeah. Right, last one, are you ready? Dear Auntie Nelly, we adopted our baby girl when she was just a few weeks old Aww. and now she's nine. The problem is, how do we tell her she's adopted? 
Should we tell her? We don't know if we want to. Has she got the right to know? Yeah. Oh, and is she at the right age to be told? We just don't know what to do or we don't want to break her heart. We love her just like she's our own and she looks so much like my husband. Any help would be appreciated. Are there any flower pots out there that can advise? And that's what I love about this as well because when we do do nighttime and Ellie's Sunday yeah. service, you'll always put in the comments if it's ever happened to you or you have your own advice yeah. or nine, I think nine's a good age. Yeah, nine, it, 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 it is a good age and uh, yeah. Of course, the little girl has the right to know. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> but you've also got to understand that when you tell her, you know, she might ask you a lot of questions. Yeah, be ready. Or she might not ask you any questions whatsoever. She might just turn around and say, okay, and leave it at that. But then, <laughs> maybe a few months later or whatever, she might start asking and say, well, what happened to my real mummy? And what have you? Yeah. So then you have to come out with you know the truth and what have you, but never take away the fact when you do tell her. Yeah. But never take away the fact that when she's an adult and she's old enough to understand, and she ever wants to learn for a real mother, you will never be coming her way. Depending on the circumstance and why this baby was adopted in the I first place. I wonder if, like, you know, when you adopt a baby, like the agents, people think I'm adopted, don't they? Nobody ever believes that you're my mum. They'll be like, oh, you're adopted. I'm like, I know she's only like five foot and blonde and beautiful, but she is my mum. I am your I mum. I am your I'm not adopted ever. Antonella. <laughs> right, no, she's nine year old. I think it's it's a good age. Yeah. Um, the agency you adopted her from, I'm sure to God there's agencies out there, there's things yeah. in social services, yeah. children's services, yeah. that be able to give you a few guidelines on how to do it. Yeah. But I don't think there's anything wrong with just saying, we want to tell you something, this date, so you'll know the date that you adopted your baby, you're yeah. going to have two birthdays, it's time to tell you that this is the got you day, and we're so proud because we got to pick you. Um, yeah, she's your baby. Yeah, your regardless. Baby. And just tell her how much you love her. Regard don't make her think that no. you're telling her because like we adopted you because no, no, nobody no, else no. wants you no, so no, you know. No, no. Make it into a big celebration, oh, a big yeah. blessing that and you're able. You, yeah, how much you adore her, how yeah. much for everything. You know, she uh, she is your child. Yeah. She I'm sure there's there's like agencies out there that will set out guidelines oh, yeah, course, on how to course, do it what course. questions they may ask and, and what... if that little girl is very happy with you yeah with her mummy and daddy i am pretty sure that she won't be asking many questions she deserves but to know though she, she has a right to no, know she has a right she? to know yeah but, yeah like i said maybe months or in a year she, when she gets a little bit older, she might have more questions. Yeah, she might just start wondering. I wonder yeah. what my mummy looked like. I wonder yeah. what my real mother looked like. But and some don't. Depending some on the child not. as well. Depending you can't. You might not be able to tell her exactly why she no. was put up for adoption because no. she may not be mature enough to grasp it. But yeah. as time got once no. she knows, you have no risk then of no. going to a funeral in no. thirty years and saying, no. "Oh, well, that weren't your dad or weren't your no. mum." Tell her now no. before any fucker else yes. does. But I think it's always wiser to put everything in prospect, everything in right, because you never know in life what can happen. Yeah. Sometimes, you know, you you might need to know the background of this little girl as medical well. Medical reasons. Me exactly. That's yeah. Like medical reasons, stuff like that. Yeah. So whatever you do in love, um, whatever you won't be, I'm pretty sure that you won't be doing it in the wrong way you'll be doing it for the best of you and your little girl and I'm sure she's very happy with you yeah and uh, I just wish you the uh, best of luck yeah and uh, yeah she has the right to know she absolutely right to know. Like, yeah. yeah she, she does to know. she does good luck with I it. think nine's okay do you think nine's a good age yeah and then and, and if you've got doubts then leave it for the time being. But get all your information. Get, get all your information first and everything. And then make it. Don't make your uh, say, sit down and need to speak to you. No. Make it, you know, you and your husband. Yeah, nice in and friendly. A, and obviously. In yeah. a happy way. Guess in, what we did and we exactly. got you. And... Yeah, in a very, very happy way. Yeah, yeah. 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 And I'm sure that everything will be fine. But yeah. if you don't feel comfortable to tell her just yet because of her age, then don't do it. 
do it when you feel comfortable and your husband when then you know when you know it's the right time i disagree with that no if they i'd don't say feel, sooner rather than oh, later, yeah, sooner rather than um, later. And, and i don't think you're going to be comfortable doing it anyway no matter no. how old she is well, I know. so i think get all the information that you need um from the agency and the questions that she might ask and whatever yeah. and yeah. just do it just do it doesn't have to be a big fancy thing or no. a sit down at the kitchen table, just fucking crack on and get it sold. Yeah. Soon and once better. you've done it, love, then you feel better than yourself. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, you're not frightened then of anybody else well, telling no. them. No, you're not frightened so. of anybody else telling yeah. them. No. Exactly. That's been today's Sunday service and we yeah. hope you've enjoyed it as much as we have. Yeah. Have you enjoyed it? I've loved it. It's been I've nice, hasn't it? it? It's been absolutely wonderful, yeah. beautiful, yeah. So I don't yeah. know whether we'll it's be here It's bright my day up today. No, you yeah. brighten everyone's day up. Well, I hope I do. You do? I, I try my best. There was um, my best. a fella on Instagram, um, like, trying to crack on to you, so I blocked him and got rid of him. Oh, crack on about what? About you, how fit you look. Oh, not bad, are you? For 67, 68 in a week. I know. Right, so that's been yeah. Sunday service. I've been me, you've been you. We've yeah. had a great time. Yeah. And hopefully we'll see you all again very, very soon. Very soon. And thank you very, very much for watching. Absolutely. Yeah. Okay, flower pots. Flower pots at Instagram. Yeah. Say bye bye to them. Pots. Enjoy your Sunday. Whatever you do. And remember, fingers crossed, very soon. We'll all be able to put our arms around each other, so our loved ones, our friends, yeah. everybody. Positive all the time. Yeah. Love you all. Bye. Bye. Was that all right? That was lovely, Mum.